Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here today. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Championship belt. All right, so the 135 pound division has been owned by this man. He is showing no signs of slowing down, and not unlike some other champions we have, showing new wrinkles with every passing title. Every time he gets into the octagon, he looks better. There's something new. There's something improved about our champion. He's just one of those guys that will never take a day off. He will never allow for someone to be working when he isn't. He's so intent on being dominant that he makes sure that he leaves no stone unturned. Tonight he has done that, and he, is, he, he assures us that he's going to keep his championship. There were a few guys that could have gotten this title fight. He believes the most worthy opposition got this opportunity. Champion's job is to turn back. One of the best in the business, Herb Dean, is our referee tonight. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start. More often than not, Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Gets home. Lee gets tagged by that stiff jab. Beautiful jab lands. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Oh, nice little right hook there. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Nice crack there. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Miss with that jab attempt there. Just over three minutes now to go. Good job blocking that shot. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's gotta start blocking these, DC. One more and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. Just misses there with the left. Look like that one was blocked. You know, that's that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Oh, 
All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strengths. Well, his opponent has not done anything to turn him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. There's that head kick. Lands up high again. Looks like that body kick got home. Under 90 seconds to go round one. Clean punch. What a nasty flying knee. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. And another straight finds the target there by Lee. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. And they separate. Punishing kick there. Five seconds to go here in round one. Big power shot there. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Oh, and he lands again. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 20 seconds left. Work. <laughs> what a nasty high kick. Final seconds of the round. <laughs> round two straight ahead. So a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. I mean, will. those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's arms and landing those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him. You ready to fight? You ready? Come All on. right, round two. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Unable to connect with a right hook. Looks as though he's dealing with a cut above the eye here. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, but even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment of snow. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, high kick lands flush. Front kick by Lee. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Misses with the right hand. Three minutes now to go in this one. 
strike lands clean. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Leg kick lands. Man, his jab is good. There it is. He lands the kick to the body there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Beautiful shot to the leg. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Lee's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. Nice little time kick to the body for the champion. Clips him with the right hand there. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. There it is, another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it as the bout continues. You know, we'll keep an eye on it. But the person that should be addressed is his opponent. His opponent isn't doing anything to deter him from doing this constantly. He's got to change something if he wants to fight this fight and win this fight. 30 seconds to go in round two. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Back and forth we go. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. Oh. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. Well, he's done a real good job attacking that cut above the eye, and here is your visual proof. I mean, John, just devastating. These blows were amazing. He was able to land at will, and he opened up a nasty cut over the eye of his opponent. Now he's got to target it, and every time he lands, that blood will start to pour down into the eye, making it real hard to fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Rounds more than possible five. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would... Oh! Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood in the water, you gotta go get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook. He's hurt! He's hurt! This could just about do it. Circling to his right. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. 
Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Lee gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave him up. Oh, man. That cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy figures to be busy between fights. He's going to be very busy. What a nasty flying knee to the head. Oh, nice. Nice. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Just over three minutes to go in round three. There's that jab. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh! Big right hand. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Trying to stay in this fight! Well, the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on the next. He cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you've got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. Great shot blocked by the opponent. The stream is steady. At what point do you at least call in the doctor to look at the cut? You got to right now. I mean, right now. So <laughs> oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Pretty good knee there by Lee. Great hands, but tonight the kicks are leading the dance. All right, so the referee steps between the two fighters. They are going to call on the doctor to look at that nose, and I'm fearful this is going to be the end of the fight. Yeah, it's bad. There's a lot of blood. You can see him almost mouth wide open, gasping for air. He still seems spirited and mentally in this fight, and to that end, to that end, the doctor will allow him to continue, at least for now. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely, and I'm just as excited myself. I want to see these guys compete. I want to see who wins. I don't want it to stop because of the cut. I want to see the best fighter get their hand raised at the end of the night. Luckily, we get to try to do that. Oh, nice. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just... Shot on the feet! And back to his feet. Thirty seconds in the round. Good jab. Twenty seconds left. 15 seconds. Lee's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. He's stupid. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage, and now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring, and then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round to fight. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Man, he gets those kicks to the target quickly. That was a big check. Lee's left leg is damaged now. You can see he is limping. It was that last kick from his opponent that appeared to do the bulk of the damage. Oh, he's a top. Nice kick, yep. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect the knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this one. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Sidekick. Man, how good is his right hook count? Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well. He has responded. Oh, he is stunned trying to recover here. Oh, oh massive diving punch flush to the head. Oh, he is a bloody mess as another strike gets through right on that cut. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Lee. And he switches his stance yet again. And the switch kick now lands. He does everything so well. All right, so at this point, maybe the ringside position will indeed call the fight referee, bringing him in to look at that damage. Got to save the athlete from themselves. Too much damage. Stop the fight, ref. Well, if you like blood, this is the fight for you. Doesn't appear to be affecting his vision too badly right now. Looks as though he's going to let him play. Wow, he allows him to continue. Ready to fight. Very surprising. Ready. Fans are with it. All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back underway. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the stool. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on this. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after party. <laughs>